What's happening, people, and welcome to our podcast where we step outside the box and talk about atypical topics from growing minds. I'm Benjamin. And I'm Rainy. And we are your host. Welcome to our show. Microphone check. Microphone check. One, two. Two, four. Coming at you live from <laughs> downtown Arizona. And today we're here to talk about idiocracy. <laughs> idiocracy. <laughs> idiocracy. Yes, that worked. Y'all have heard of that movie, right? 2006, Luke Wilson? What, what's the girl's name? Uh, from, from Grown Ups? Is that her? I couldn't tell. She yes, that's so her. Young. She's young. Th- um, yes, it's 2006, so it's, yeah, 18 years ago or something. Quite a while. <laughs> I forgot her name. Anyway, it's the really funny lady from... Grown Ups. And Grown Ups, like, 1 and 2. She was also the judge she's, on The Good Place. Yeah, she's Chris Rock's wife. She's, she's just freaking funny. awesome actress. She's hilarious. I can't believe we forgot her name. Wow, we're horrible. Anyway, <laughs> we were watching that movie this morning. Had other plans, but the movie was funny and interesting. And I it's didn't about, have other plans. It was about... It was about... How do you say? It was a military experiment where they were going to save their best soldiers um, and bring them back in 500 years or something like that. Or one year. One year. One year. Yeah, they were supposed to bring them back in a year to see if they could preserve human lives, right? Yep. But the experiment was closed and the two people just got locked in those... For 500 years. For 500 years. So when they came out, the world was overrun with trash. Um... Flood Ruckers was now Buttfuckers, and uh, it was a children's birthday party place, and uh, <laughs> there's movie theaters that have a man's butt on Zoom for an hour and a half, and that's what people are into. They were just talking about how dumb the world becomes in 500 years. Yeah. And it's highly possible. It's definitely highly possible. Also, this movie was made before the sensitive era. Yeah. Oh my, they got sensitive. white people dropping in bombs, they got the retard word being thrown around like it's nothing. Yeah, but sens- that's the thing, sensitive era or not, and <clears throat> like you said, the white people dropping it, that's all yeah. it's been, you know? People yeah. being egotistical and not thinking of others. So it's not a sensitive era, we're just entering the era of love, we <laughs> yeah, want to be treated nicely. That white guy walks in with a bandana on his head and he goes, what's up, S.A.? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> It just had me laughing, I mean, and it's, it's like so early. It's funny as fuck. <laughs> Stupid funny. <laughs> but, but I, I don't think it'd be funny if that like actually happened. <laughs> no, because we'd be one of them dumb people. <laughs> and it's funny because they they he talks in plain English, right? He yeah. uses proper grammar and stuff, and everybody tells him he's talking like a faggot. <laughs> Yeah. It's so it's horrible. Retarded. Yeah, it's, just, it's so horrible. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I know a guy or two that'll love that movie. <laughs> so terrible. But it's not a far cry. I mean, it's not, and that's the scary part. Yeah. Well, there's like it's like a division, right? So mm-hmm. I mean, half the world is dumb as fuck. Right. Half the world is like, yeah, Trump, twenty twenty four. Those are the people that turn into dummies. <laughs> you think so? Definitely. More guns. Yeah, more no guns. Mexicans. Yeah. Those are the people that die off in the apocalypse. That's so funny. I'm not hating, but I am I hating. Mean, you guys are. There's, and then there's like other people that just want to show love. So obviously, we're not all going to turn into a bunch of dumb fucks or anything, but. Right. No, I like how they had the trash mountain. Yeah. And uh, there was a hippie bus on it. Yeah. <laughs> this is a good bunch of hippies decided to live on trash mountain. <laughs> yeah, it was just, I don't know. We were only 25 minutes in. And it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I recommend it. everybody watch it. What's it called? Idiocracy. Idiocracy. It's so funny. Luke Wilson, watch it. We're going to finish it for sure later. That's the plan? Yeah. Yeah, we got like the Hitman's Bodyguard and... Like a couple other movies we yeah, gotta watch, we got but no, we're movies. watching this one. Yeah. <laughs> we do have to watch The Hitman's Bodyguard because it's a library movie. That's but right. Want... We rent from our library. Yeah. Support local. <laughs> Definitely. I wish they had a better organizing system, but it's a little library, so. Now, the DVDs are alphabetical. Why? Well, no, I know. I'm Except for the books. word the. Books. No, the is never counted. <laughs> it is sometimes there. No, not in the library. It is sometimes on DVDs. I'll look at the T's and it'll be nothing with the, and then I'll see like three things with the in it, and then I go to wherever that the is, and I find it too. So they just don't organize correctly. Yeah, 
all kind of fuck shit. That's okay, because it's still cool. I'm glad to have one. What? <laughs> You're yawning. I know. I just... <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I think that the world is definitely headed to a place where, I mean, not like that. It's ridiculous. I mean... Yeah, like, he walked up and asked a group of people a question, but it sounded too intelligent, so they tried to fight him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they, they raised their sticks and their arms at him. Just like <laughs> tried to scare him off like he was a wild animal. It was hilarious. <laughs> and that's the thing, you know? Obviously... Dax Shepard's in it, too. Yeah, but he's only in it for a second. Or is he in it more? Shut up! Come in here, talk! <laughs> Come back in here, talk! What did he say? Come back in here and not talk! Oh, yeah. He was trying to talk shit and he threw him out the window. But is he in it more? I honestly don't remember. Because I, I haven't seen this credits. movie since it came out. So oh, okay. it's like. But he's a big name, so I yeah. assume, yeah. That was right around the time he came out with, like, without a paddle and stuff. Yeah, that's really interesting. So I bet he is in it more. Yeah. He's a famous face, very funny guy. But the I ER mean, in that movie is like accurate. Yeah, isn't it? it? Is too. Accurate. The girl at the desk is completely dumb, and she's just looking for the button that relates to his his problems. And yeah. he's going, "My knees hurt, you know, but I'm also having a headache. I'm having this withdrawal from the drugs the military gave." And she's going through all these buttons, <laughs> and then finally she hits the one with the question marks. Yeah, because he said, "I don't know what's going." on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so she hit that one. And, and then, then he didn't have a barcode. <laughs> and then the doctor, remember the doctor? Yeah. Put this one in your mouth, this one in your ear, and this one goes in your butt. Yeah. Wait a minute. Those are wrong. Hold on. <laughs> it's like, oh, God. Yeah. It's After all, he stuck it in his mouth. <laughs> it's all sorts of ridiculous. <laughs> You're unscannable. And that's true, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Your social will be a barcode pretty soon. Definitely. I mean, it was really interesting how... <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Distracted <laughs> by the beautiful kitties. <laughs> it was really his, his big green eyes. <laughs> I know, I know it was too, because he looked at me. Vat's got big yellow eyes. It was a UPC code, and it was just ridiculous. It was crazy, yeah. And when they figured out he didn't have a scan mark, they all arrested him. The cops were stupid, too. They just walk up, point guns at him. And he said, are you the unfit mother? <laughs> are you the unfit mother? And then they tackle him because he's unscannable. And then he's asking them questions, and they just pepper spray him. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And hey, we're we're already there. Congratulations, That's police! True. <laughs> Congratulations, police department! That's you totally made it true. to twenty five hundred. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of it's just. I mean, any reality <coughs> of the future is going to be drastically different than this, but I hope it's not that. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Trash mountains? What do we do with our trash people? We bury them. Yeah, or we throw it in the ocean. Yeah. Right? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Trash doesn't actually have a place There's to no place for it. Quit making it. I don't need six wrappers on my candy. Yeah. Especially because, like, nobody used trash back in the day. And those people that are bagging cereal inside of boxes, you're assholes. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, it goes back to what I was saying. Like, there's literally nowhere to put trash. No, there isn't. We just bury it into the earth. Yeah, like. Pollute. I don't know. Like, that's where it came from, I guess, but. No, it's not. Sure it is. Where did trash come from? It didn't come from the earth. How would it have come from the earth? From the materials, from the earth. That's how we created the trash. Oh, okay, okay. I get so you. it goes back to the earth. But that's why some material can be like composted and stuff. Some, but baby diapers don't, you know? Yeah, exactly. That's one of those things that's made to absorb water and never decay. Yeah, know? 500 <laughs> years or so. That's crazy. Imagine 500 years, guys. We Our world is overrun with baby diapers. Cloth diaper. <laughs> Cloth diaper, make the move, make yeah. the switch. Yes, definitely. Save the planet. <laughs> I agree with that statement. You know, I wish we would have started podcasting before we had a baby. So Why? that way we could, like, go through our cloth diapering and oh. breastfeeding shit. Okay. That would have been really interesting. That would have been cool. But yeah, yeah. We're breastfed, cloth diaper. Reduce waste. No formula, yeah. Just I mean,. No mom shaming. You can use formula. Yeah, no mom shaming. But of we course. didn't. But so yeah, they're like what the doctors tell you is bullshit. Yeah, doctors. Fuck are them doctors. Stupid. Them wick ladies. They don't know shit either. Don't listen to them wick ladies. Yes, use their benefits, but they don't know shit. Well, that's because they're just 
stupid. They read the book in front of them, and they're like, is your baby eight pounds at this age? <laughs> That's not true. I mean, I'm sure, sure. that they have training, but uh, they have, like, government training. You know, milk is good for them. Exactly. It's government training. It's indoctrinated. It's not <laughs> true. Yeah. We still get all the shit, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not saying don't reap these benefits. I'm just saying don't listen to these dumbasses that give it to you. Yeah. I'm a big liar when it comes to that. Yeah, after you gotta lie to them. <laughs> and then they tell you what you're doing is wrong, and then you get lectured, and nobody wants to be lectured. You get lectured? I mean, yeah. They think and you know what's fucked up? What? Single dads don't get it. That's true. It's fucked up, because I wanted it, and I was told I can't because I'm not a woman. Wow, really? Mm-hmm. And you were single? Woman and infants only, yeah. What? Women yeah, don't even get it's benefits. It's a sexist-ass program. It really is. Yeah. Like, if I, Women yeah. Women don't get benefits. It's only children, but. The baby? Yeah, I know, but my baby, as a man, won't get it. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Mm-hmm. Because, obviously, the mom's going to stay with the kids. <laughs> so stupid. And that's certainly what some people think, huh? Yeah, so that's that's where we're at. Anyway, <laughs> so you work the system because they don't work for you. So yes, exactly. <laughs> you gotta work them. And polluting the earth is using the system, or it's like utilizing it. Like the system wants trash everywhere. Like why yeah, is the yeah. earth falling apart? Why are cigarettes so heavily advertised? Yeah. It's, well, they're not. I've not anymore. Yeah. They've slowed it down. But back in my day, that's all they talked about. You were a cool, tough cowboy if you smoked cigarettes. Yeah. You know what I mean? And chewing tobacco. Fuck yeah. Rot them gums, bro. Rot them gums. We need more men like you. <laughs> Rotten gum motherfuckers. If you bro. chew tobacco... If I chew tobacco... The, <laughs> if you chew tobacco, you're on the bottom of the food chain. And I'm telling you right now me yeah that, no not you just people in general yeah. no i agree yeah you cowboys out there that's not a good look no it's not <laughs> like you are at the bottom of the food chain no and i did it that yeah. shit's powerful it's got more power than cigarettes you know but gross. but it's gross. gross yeah it's gross so i did it when i was 16 i tried it before cigarettes yeah that's that's how that happened i chewed red man this is all disgusting. yeah it was sweet <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. It was. It was sweet. <laughs> uh, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we're talking about how dumb the world is. The world of idioc idiocracy. Idiocracy. <laughs> ben yeah. can't say hard words like algorithm. Algorithm. <laughs> ben can't say hard words. <laughs> What's up? I can't even say it. I love that that guy said that. That's so yeah. crazy. Nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, nothing. That's so crazy. Yeah, that was before the world of idiocracy. I don't think he was becoming... That was like... Like Lil Dicky did it and Chris Brown's body. <laughs> but this was different, yo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this was like, you want to go find that white guy and just teach him real quick. Like, like hey, 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 you can't do that. <laughs> I bet that guy's dead by now, though. He was oh. old. 2006... He looked like he was 40. 2006. How long ago was that? 10? Like 18 years? 16 years 16? ago. 16? Something like that. People who were born in 2006 are starting to drive. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little nerve-wracking. Yeah. <laughs> It is. You it see is. these kids. Yeah, you I see them come out of their classrooms and get in their car. You're like, oh my God. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here I we know. go. That's why we're off the road when it it's puts, 3 o'clock. It puts a lot of things into perspective the older you get and shit like well, that. Well, hey, I mean, I'm curious to see where this movie goes. I'm sure it's going to get worse. Like 10 year olds are driving, 8 year olds are drinking. You I know don't what know I mean? If they even have cars. Yeah, the, the cop picked them up in one. Was that? Co oh yeah, okay. It was a cop cruiser, yeah. Okay. Looked like a roller skate car, but it was a cop cruiser. We'll keep y'all fans updated. Yeah, get out there and watch any 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 rockersher. What's it called? Any rockersher. It. You're an idiot. <laughs> Peace. Peace.